Right, here we have the um, first version of the hard 008. As you can see, that's what it is. And I've actually converted it so that it now has a working scope mounted um, screen heads up display. So the image is actually um, transferred from the scope to the screen. So when you're ratting or when you're scanning around, rather than keep looking through the scope, you can actually look direct at the screen like you would with say a night sight and the image is on there um, it's different to the apps that you can get because the apps currently there's quite a lot of lag um, with the picture going from from the scope to the um, the app using Wi-Fi uh, with this method there is actually no lag at all it's a live picture as you can see it's got a HDMI out the screen and then that's one simple wire then and that goes round into the micro and make sure that you get a micro um, HDMI which connects straight into the scope and then I don't know if you can see but that is the image that you get and I'll try and put it on something and as you can see when I'm moving the rifle it's live as you can see there's my grass um, I'll try and take some more images in a minute when I'm actually shooting at a target so you can see it and that's the that's what it is it's a Viltrox DC 50 monitor and that cost 98 pound off Amazon it comes with the HDMI to micro HDMI lead already um, and I've just attached it on the side using the clamp which comes with the screen as well and I've attached that to a scope holder which goes into the side of the Picatinny on the pod and it's a switch on plug and play and that's the image that you get straight away it's really easy I haven't even messed with none of the settings yet um, and the megapixels on this is very very uh, very good very high that's a five inch screen as well. You can get the seven inch, but I opted for the five because it's smaller. And as you can see, it fits nicely on my gun. One wire, and then I can also, using the adapter still, undo the adapter a little bit. And now I can actually still tilt the screen. So I've got up and down, I've got tilt forward, backwards on the screen. I've also got 180 degrees left or right. Um, the, the screen when you buy it, it also comes with like a visor that fits on the side here So it's got sides and a top um, Which for ratting probably would because it would concentrate the light more So that it's not shining all over the place in your eye But obviously you can adjust the contrast and the brightness on it So what I'll do now I'll set it up and I'll do some shoot some targets through it um, so you can see it Right then, this is the next part. Like I promised, I'd show you um, the screen in action, basically. Um, so, as you can see, that's the image, or that's where I'm going to be shooting at the target at the top of the garden. It's only about 15 meters, but you get the gist. Excuse the washing in the background, um, but hey, never mind. Life goes on. So. Just to let everybody know, behind that fence there, it is um, wasteland, it is mine. Um, behind the target there is a piece of wood, so I know the back stops, because behind that is actually a metal trap uh, pellet catcher. So I know all the back stops, I know where I'm shooting to, it's all perfectly safe, nobody's in the house, um, apart from my dog who's laid his neck to me, and that's about it, so just for safety reasons um, so there you go so that's what I'm doing this is the image that you actually get from the unit itself and as you can see that is live because I'm moving a rifle um, and that is currently that there so I'm pointing it at the plate and then if I move straight across that's the orange ball that's there in the corner at the top of the screen Okay, so let's go back and we'll 
we'll take some shots using it and see how if it works, which it should do. One question I have been asked is, does the pod still record um, what it plugged into the screen? And now I'll prove that it does because if you press that, there you go. There's in the corner there, that's the pod recording. That's the image that you'd usually see through the pod if you was looking through it when you press the record button. Obviously there's the IR off or on. There's the battery life and there's your Wi-Fi, which you would see all four corners of your pod. All right, let's do some shooting with it. Um, like I've totally explained, perfectly safe backstop, everything. As you can see, just at the top of the reticle, on just before where the, the axes meet, you'll see just a, a hole to the left-hand side. That's where I know where this rifle is going to, should hit. <laughs> um, so let's just take some shots now and you should be able to see it live as I take it there you go you saw the hole get bigger and then just reload it again and should just be about there there you go just so you can see it, I'll make a fresh one somewhere. Let's move that across. I'm on a stand, that's why I'm... And then, that's... You should see a hole. There you go. So there you go, so it all works. One simple wire, screen, scope mounted, everything still works. And you've actually got all these options on the... Yeah, so you can change the size of the screen on it so it becomes bigger like that or 4.3 so it goes smaller 16.9 which is the one I had it on just which shows you all four things in the corner of the pod if you're not too worried about that put it on the DLSR and it gives you quite a full screen um, press return come back down there there's your brightness your contrast um, you can mess around with the colour. It's also got sound on it as well. So if you wanted to turn that up, what it does, when you press your menu button on your pod, you actually hear the sound through your screen, like the clicking and the beeping of the buttons. Even if you've got it turned off on your pod, it comes through on the screen. So my suggestion is turn that down, volume right down, all the way down to zero. Otherwise, you may spook something when you press your menu button and it's as loud as it is because it's actually a very, very good screen.